Hi, everybody. So you're very welcome. Um, it's one of our bite-sized lives. We haven't done one of these in the last few weeks, um, purely with homeschooling. I think we all had a lot to be doing. So yeah, thankfully, one of the kids went back to start of this week, so I can see a big difference um, already. But I'm really excited for what I'm going to cover today um, with Maria. So you would have seen Maria on a few of our other lives as well, um, and her tips are always really, really popular. Um, and what we're going to chat about today is something that a lot of my customers are asking is, Sharon, I want to look a bit taller, and you know, I see people maybe in the long cardigans, and I just know they won't suit me. So what is it that I can do to look taller? And then obviously, if you have any questions, just pop your questions in. And if you're watching this later on the replay, just put in hashtag replay. If there's questions, then we'll come back to them as well. But Maria, over to you. Share the secret tips with us. Secret tips. Well, I suppose the first tip I would always say is love who you are as you are right now. You're not going to be able to grow or shrink, you know, your height. You are what you are. And so there's an awful lot of work that we all need to do within ourselves to really really value and value what you are so that's the first thing I, and i do know that people work really hard to get balance right and to get proportions right and to make sure that they're making the most and so this what what, what i'm going to show you or give you some tips about is how to make the best of you and um, we're not going to put you on a on a, on a bench and, and roller pin you to make you taller you know that that, that doesn't work um, <laughs> So, but there are some things which will possibly help you be more confident. And that's what this is all about. It's just to yeah. give you a bit of confidence. And then you need to step into that confidence and grab it and take it. So, I mean, there, there are some really obvious things, Sharon, vertical lines rather than horizontal lines, so that you're drawing the eye up and down the body. What we're doing when we look at balance and proportions is we're we're asking the eye to go somewhere, the eye from the other person. So you're trying to get the eye from the other person to the places that you really love and to distract their attention away from the places that maybe you're not that as happy with. Okay. <laughs> and so that's the whole premise behind balance and proportion. So for me, if I because my torso is a little bit shorter than my legs, I tend not to do high waisted because I want to lengthen my torso. So I tend to do, do, so and it's tricky at the moment because high waisted are all in, but I just know they're not for me. So once you understand the things that are right for you, this allows you to not be a fashion victim or a fashion follower. You can take the bits that work for you and, and ignore the bits that don't, and that's the key thing. So back to my my tips. Vertical lines are great because you're you're drawing the eye from the top of you to the bottom, and you're making yourself look longer than you possibly are. That's the first thing. So avoid and the opposite is avoid horizontals. Okay. Your, your, okay. Yeah, it goes across instead of up and down. So anything you can do to elongate your frame will always work. And um, dressing in one color or tones of one color. So going tonal. It might be two blues or two greens or two yellows or top to toe in one tone, one color okay. is always good because because again you're not drawing a line across you, so you look you look you have a nice long column. Okay, so that top to bottom again. It's, it's the yes, top, top the bottom, bottom again. Yeah, and I, I prefer tonal because it keeps a bit of interest in there rather than all just, just one colour. Several colours yeah. are better, but several greens or several blues and, and you layer them on top of each other. Um, matching tights with your hemline and your shoes so that you're one colour from waist to floor. You know what I mean? Ah, okay. So if you have a black skirt, black, black tights, tights, black shoes. Black shoes. Yes. yes. Again, we'll draw the eye. So that's one piece instead of cutting it in several places. If you're cutting, drawing a line across your knees where your hemline finishes or below that, and then you're adding another color, that's another line. And, and then your shoes are another color, that's another line. So you're cutting yourself more than you need to. I can really imagine that. Yeah. If, yeah. If you're very tall, then you can draw lots of lines. So the opposite is also true. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You, I can just imagine as you're saying that you can see nearly how it would actually be cutting across. Yes. Yeah. yeah. When you when you when you when something starts or stops on you, whether it's a jacket or a sleeve or a hemline, you're drawing a line across your body. When you're shorter, the less lines you can draw, the better, because then your eye goes up and down from top to bottom. So there's no punctuation. Okay. 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 Yeah. yeah. All right. Perfect. 
Um, very slim trousers are generally better because again, you're elongating yourself. Um, high heels, you say we, you know, we're not wearing high heels at the moment, but if you can even have a length, a toe, lengthened toe. So the front part of your shoe, the top of your shoe is called the vamp. If you okay. have a longer vamp than a shorter vamp, then everything looks a wee bit longer. And it's amazing the difference an inch will make on a on the length of something on a vamp or your trousers or you know, an inch. I had a customer. Yeah, I lot. actually I had a customer only last week say the same thing to me exactly that she has a certain type of shoe um, and it's purely because when she wears them uh, she feels more elongated and she can see the difference in her outfit and her look and people will actually comment and go oh you look very well and it, it yeah. is simply down to that shoe how that right things. Shoe. yeah some of the little details that you add that nobody else notices i call that style mastery when you get those little things nobody else notices the little details but they notice the overall look when you understand yes. that it's it's wonderful to see somebody who gets the little details and changes even the smallest thing can make the difference. Um, long scarves and necklines again draw the eye down. So if you have a longer necklace or a scarf that brings you down, rather than having everything cluttered at the top, that will elongate you. Um, long narrow skirts and dresses. So if you're okay. going for a long one, keep them narrow. The same as why you, the same reason why you wear slimline trousers rather than wide trousers because it just keeps everything. Really so you want the fitted, long, more fitted. Fit. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So narrow silhouettes really is what we're looking for. Sometimes a shorter hairstyle. Because okay. then your body's looking longer, you've raised everything up. Okay. If, okay. You, if you can do it. If you can find a hairdresser at the moment. <laughs> well, yeah, well, there's the thing. Or just or just pull it up. And the other thing are um keep your patterns and your accessories small to medium scale. So medium scale is about a, an orange or a satsuma. You know, if, if you have anything bigger than that, then that becomes the thing that does all the talking and you distract from, from you. And it can become overpowering on a smaller person. So relative to your scale, keep everything small to medium scale. Uh, patterns. Okay, okay. patterns are important. So if you're doing stripes, Keep them narrower rather than wider. Okay, okay. And if you had, let's say, maybe florals, have it maybe more compact kind of florals than a big, huge flower print on you. Yeah, and often a repeating one rather than a, a abstract one is often better because it keeps it organized. It keeps your print, the print organized. And so you look like everything is more organized. Some of these tips sound a bit daft, but when, when you put the clothes on you and you look at the picture of you, if you see the clothes before you see you, generally the clothes are doing too much talking and they're distracting. Okay, okay, okay. I get this. So they're meant to enhance, but not actually. Yes, the you should walk into point. the room before your clothes. Yeah, if your clothes come into the room first and, and you're not there, you're, you're somewhere else, then the I clothes love that. are too. Yeah, yeah. The clothes yeah, are doing I all love... the talking. You need to do I the love... talking and the clothes enhance. You're right about enhancing. And what about um, like long dresses? Because I know it is something that some people say is that they do want to wear long dresses, but some of the dresses are just too long. Is there a different kind of length that people should be going for then instead? Well, again, it depends on your height. I, and, and some of it's about your personality. So I'm five foot seven, but I very rarely wear a dress below my knee because of the personality traits I have. So I know that... My guidelines tell me that it's not the best look for me, even though I'm tall. Okay. So some of it's about your personality, but generally for five foot five or five foot four and below, shorter dresses are generally better because when you have that line somewhere in your mid calf, then everything comes down to there. So you either go all the way to your ankle. So it's one piece or you stop yeah. it at your knee, stop it at your knee and then give yourself. So either just above or just below your knee, wherever you're comfortable with. Okay, okay, so not kind of any of the um, skirts that go to the mid shin or any of them kind of avoid Generally them. not, unless they're nice and narrow and, and slim and elongated. Some of those dresses with lots of swish, I know we see them, and this is where we come into fashion victim land, I call it, where where you tend to just buy there, buy what's out there because it's fashionable. Um, yeah. That's, those clothes are generally the clothes that you might wear once and you know there's something wrong and you're not quite sure why. And those are the clothes that usually end up staying in your wardrobe and don't come out to play very often. Because <laughs> you're trying to fit into something that just isn't right, isn't right for, right for you. you. see it on someone else. Yeah. 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 
Yeah. Makes sense. And, and if the clothes aren't right for you, leave the shop without them. You know, a good day shopping is often coming home with nothing because, and that's when you're being really discerning because the clothes just aren't right. Yeah, and especially like you say, if they're going to stay in your wardrobe, you know, there yeah. is just no point to that because then you get frustrated with yourself because you see, oh, I've only worn that one time, and you you just get annoyed with yourself, don't you? Yeah, because yeah. it's a bad yeah, vibe. Yeah, yeah. So. No, you better off now. I 100% agree with you. And what about outerwear? So the likes of, you know, kind of blazers, those kind of pieces. Is there a certain length? Um, should it be shorter blazers? Should it be longer blazers towards the knee? What's the best? And cardigans as well, do you think? Generally, for shorter women, there's a point at which your torso meets your leg. And we call that, I call that your leg break. So if you lift your leg up and put your finger into that gap, that's right. your leg break. Know. Yeah. Okay. So lift up your full leg, put your finger in there, and that's your leg break. And that's a great length for everybody. Everybody can start or stop something there, whether it's a jumper or a jacket or a top, whatever. Everybody can draw a line there because it's the absolute middle of you, right? That's where your torso meets your legs. Yeah. Right? Okay. So that's a great length. Yeah. After that, really, um, some of it will depend on your body shape often but a great place to draw a line is at your waist if you have a great waist because that emphasizes the waist and often women hide their waist so that's a great place to draw a line after that it really depends on your body shape you never want to draw a line around your widest part so if you have okay. a generous bust you don't do a short sleeve because i'm just going up my tippy toes because then let me just come down if you have a short, if you have a generous bust, a short sleeve would draw a line right across that bust, and that's where the eye will go. So you oh, don't want I to do really that. that. Okay. And similarly, okay. yeah, if you have find the widest part on your hips, and you don't want to draw a line across that either, you go about two inches below or two inches above, and stop okay. something either above it or below it. So it's a combination, really. It is the extra. It's a combination. Hips. For that but also back towards your body shape as well so the combination of both of them isn't it yeah 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 and it's it's easy if you take a picture of yourself with the line across your widest bit lift that out up or bring it down and take another picture and if you swipe between the two you really see the difference those two inches make and we can all do that with the iphone now you we know can all do that yeah. yeah. So either tuck and it in or pull it up or, and then drop it down and see and, and really look at where the widest part of you is, either your hip or your bust. That's generally where women have curve. So those are the two places really to look at. Perfect. It, and yeah. then for spring, so we're in spring now um, and I think it's been the longest winter ever. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like it might be a long spring too. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, but we got a, I know, but I think we got a little bit of a glimpse yesterday of just a bit of nicer weather, just a bit out. Um, I know I was out with the kids, and like even yesterday, I just had a long skirt on me because I said, I don't care, it's it's a sunshine day, I don't care if I'm cold out. Um, so I think we are all dying to get into something nice for spring. Any tips for what would be maybe one or two lovely styles to wear during spring? For someone for that's looking to be a little bit, for or for someone women. to look a little bit maybe taller, yeah. What would be kind of one or two well, key things? Well, I mean, the same rules apply. Go for go for if you're going for a summer skirt, try and keep it at your knee. Try and keep it narrower rather than too much flounce or too much swish, too much movement yeah. in it. Um, if you can do a high heel, it's always good to lift yourself up. If you can do a, a long maybe even vamp, a wedge, what or about a wedge? wedge? Yeah, yeah, wedges are still around. Um, all I mean, all the all the same the same tips apply. There's plenty of print. There's plenty of floral. Keep it small scale or medium scale. Um, keep the draw the eye to the parts of you that you love, you know. But really look at your own body shape because we all have far more things that are good than are bad. But we focus on the one or two things that are bad. So really look at all the things that are gorgeous and draw the eye to those parts, whether it's fitting with accessories or with your bag. Or with a belt or whatever it is that you're adding to your clothes that's a great point because it is one thing and i suppose it's different to just the height is like like with covid at the moment a lot of us do feel that we've put on weight and you know a lot of us are focusing on those part of the body parts that we don't like and we're more conscious of and maybe we're just covering up because we're, you know we're so focused on that part that we don't like and i love that if we focus on if you're getting dressed and you think about what is it that I do like? So maybe, you know, you have a lovely kind of chest or you have a lovely waist. 
And I love that if you kind of focus on decorating there, then you yes. actually feel better in yourself. Completely. Yeah, we start, we need to really start celebrating who we are because if you try and hide the one or two things that you don't like, guess where the eye will go? To those one or two things that you don't like. And it all, yeah. bec it becomes a, a whole obsessive, almost stress for you. And, and most other people don't even notice, you know, they That's don't it, notice that. Unless you point it out to them and go, oh, I have this big tummy. And people go, oh yeah, you do. But if you hadn't said it, I mean, most people don't notice. I know. You arrow to it and go <laughs> <laughs> no i know we just had a, someone here say they're dying to break out their wedges and put away the boots so i think oh yeah 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 and trainers are always going to be around i mean you know a, a dress and trainers is is a lovely lovely thing when you can get a pair of trainers that work for you and your color and your style if you if you're someone who loves a bit of bling get some sparkle onto your trainers you know there's there are there are so more many more options now for 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 mixing up styling for mixing you know very casual items with more dressed up items it's there's never been a better time to really really practice and flourish in your own personality and the things that, that work for you if you can step into your confidence and walk out confidently nobody can argue with that yeah and then you just feel great you know that's, yeah. that's what it's all really about isn't it just to yeah. you start your day you feel good and then you know that's it. You don't be at your clothes all day. You're thinking about what you're wearing all day. So, yeah. But uh, Maria, it's always brilliant tips. Every time we have our chats, there's always such a great response. Um, actually, will you just kind of mention as well where people can follow you? Because I know from the last ones, um, I've had lovely feedback from other customers of mine, and they've kind of jumped onto your page and follow your tips. So, if you want to just maybe yes, my Instagram, my Facebook are all at Unlocking Your Style. So that's my handle. Unlocking your style. Perfect. I probably should have put it on my name, but um, unlocking your style is where I am. Yeah, and she can put any links in the comments later on. So, but thank you very much, Maria. Always a pleasure. You're welcome, Sharon. You on. Love your tips. Thank have you. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. You're welcome. Bye.